Alohomora. Welcome to my Harry Potter bookshelf tour. <laughs> like me to bring Hogwarts to you then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also the all-important notification bell so you know whenever I upload to my YouTube channel let's get started so I have a few obviously you guys haven't seen a proper kind of tour of my of my shelves my channel no uh, my shelves since I think it was August last year when I did the big reveal you know aloha more and everything came on um which was a cool if you want to see that then check out the link above because that was such a huge kind of change from where it was to how it from was it um beginning of lockdown i think march or april and then obviously everything changed then um because we were stuck at home i didn't have anything to do other than my youtube channel and i've been pl uh, planning on like decorating these so to be completely honest with you if it wasn't for lockdown these would never be the way they were i'm really really proud of that and something good's got to come out of the crap, isn't it? Right, so the newest addition to my room is this chair. This chair was my dad's. Um, it was the one thing in his uh, bungalow that I really, really wanted. And it was in his bedroom. And you can see by the fact that oh, the leather is cracked and so on, that it was very, very, very much well loved. I am in the middle of repairing it. But as you can see from like the cushions and stuff, it is, uh, this is from Geek Gear, I love this cushion. Uh, but, uh, and I've got my, 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 uh, my Quidditch bear as well there. This is a very, very, very much loved chair. Um, of course, we've got my, my gorgeous fleece with the, uh, oh my God, what is it? Cursed opal necklace on here. And that was a picture taken by me and I had it made into a fleece through Redbubble. And then on here I have a table which is also from my dad's, which you've probably recognised from my Instagram. If you haven't been on my Instagram yet, what is wrong with you? This is my Instagram ID, so make sure that you check out uh, my Instagram. Go and give it a follow and the links are all down below for you. This table is beautiful. It needs a bit of work, but it's beautiful. I have here, I have, I've had this, oh my God, when did I buy this? I'm just waffling on, so. This was my... Um, first click goblet of fire prop and this is actually the necker one and I think this is actually the most valuable goblet of fire that you can get I don't even know how much these go for but these are so hard to get hold of but I bought this when it first came out I was very very lucky I only paid a little bit for it my uh, my Dumbledore's army mug that got sent to me and I have the hoodies which will be available to only my patreons so where do I start? I don't think you guys have seen much of the top, have you? So we're gonna have to kind of get on with that. I've done plenty of close-ups, so I think I'm gonna pick my favorite items and we're gonna go from there. I love this shelf. 
I really do love this shelf. I, I've got, I've, I've had a soft spot for Rita Skeeter for so long because she's just so cool. Um, so doing a shelf of hers was just the best thing ever. But there's a couple of things on here that obviously, as you can tell, don't belong to her. You've got a really pretty uh, candle holder, which is just like, I bought it from charity for like a pound. It is so pretty and very glowy. So we've got Slughorn's Hourglass from Noble Collection. Um, it just about fits in the shelf. It, I had to slide it in really carefully. Um, it doesn't belong to Rita Skeeter, but Rita Skeeter, Rita Skeeter, oh, I'm right from the Daily Prophet, <laughs> but of course you know that. Um, she was a Slytherin, so I thought, because I wanted it on display, what better place to put it is on her shelf. And obviously you've got the Quick Quotes Quill, Quick Quotes Quill, which is like really impossible to say 10 times fast. Um, and no, I'm not going to do it. Um, this was from the Wizarding World in Florida and it didn't sell for very long because there aren't that many out there. They go for between three and five hundred pound and it comes with obviously this pad here and this beautiful quill here and obviously it's boxed. And then you've got the beautiful prop, no not prop, pop vinyl prop, oh my god what am I doing? I got a miniature hourglass from Geek Gear, which is just the most adorable thing ever. I think they sold out really quick. If not, miracles happen. Check out the website and don't forget to use my discount code VICTORIA10 for that. We do have a Rita Skeeter Life and Lies of Albus Dumbledore, which I have talked about on my channel before. I cannot tell you where it came from it was actually gifted to me so and the person who gifted it to me got it sent to them by the person who made it and then it got sent to me so it's quite secretive so I don't know who made that but it's a beautiful book however I have had a new one since which I will be doing the video of this week Uh, right, so we move down to the potion shelf, which I've been told by Daniel that this is his favourite shelf. Am I right, Daniel? Yeah. Um, I don't know why, because even though it is very beautiful, it's it's it seems to be his favourite. Why is it your favourite? It's got so many colours. My precious. That is very it true. You stole it. <laughs> I did steal it. Yes. Right, so we have a new addition to the shelf. Uh, as you guys know, my dad passed away um, eh, on the 29th of January and he is now in a beautiful memory vial. His ashes are in there next cool, cool, to... Cool thing to use. He's been immortalised. <laughs> he's been immortalised on he's been my immortalized. On potion shelf next to my mum. So she is there. So they are back together again. So that's a really lovely thing that I've done for them both. Yes, they got divorced and yes, it all ended up badly. However, <laughs> I like to think they're happily together, you know, going trying to laugh through the woods or something, I don't know. But there we are. So we've got another prop replica of mine, which is the Advanced Potion Making, made by Alarm 18. I don't know, I don't think he's doing them anymore. He's literally doing his own books now, which I think is fantastic. His work is exceptional. We've got a Hogwarts quill here from Noble Collection, which is still available. And it does come, because it is a proper little quill, does come with a little bottle of ink as well. One of my Patreons sent me a gorgeous box, a handmade box, a bizarre box. So how lush is that? So that is on Pride of Place of my Potions Classroom. I love this. This was from Litjoy uh, for my first ever box from Litjoy. And it is a beautiful like, perfume bottle. I mean, how gorgeous is that? So that is very much pride of place. 
I do have, now these are incredibly hard to get hold of at the moment, and they, when you do, they are expensive. This is a pewter cup from Chamber of Secrets. This was released in Japan as a celebration for the Chamber of Secrets being released, I think, on DVD. I, I think, I don't know for definite. Um, and it's beautiful. This is obviously from the Chamber of Secrets when they have the Polyjuice Potion in Moaning Myrtle's bathroom. And then I have an Arthur Price wand spoon as well and that is in there ready to mix a potion so obviously these are my potions that i love the most you've got encantress apothecary here you've got geek gear here you've got the wizarding trunk uh what else have we got here we've got hagrid's trunk which doesn't exist anymore it's just stopped and i'm devastated because they produce the most beautiful potions this was my latest potion. This was a Felix Felicis potion bottle from the Wizarding Trunk. Now, people complained that this had no label. But if you remember, in Half-Blood Prince, the Felix Felicis bottle didn't have a label. So this has got to be one of my favourites in my collection. I love it. And it stands up all by itself. Very clever. This is another one of my favourites. This is Peruvian Instant Darkness Powder. This, again, was another incredible bottle released by uh, Hagrid's Trunk Advanced Potions. And obviously, they're no longer available and they no longer exist. So I was absolutely gutted about that. I'm hoping one day they come back. So that's my potions shelf. And then we move down to my potions classroom as she steps off the stool. So this is one of um, many favourites in my collection. I love this. This is so beautiful. This is my Star Ace Snape that I had sent to me by Star Ace, so thank you. Uh, this was done, it took me about two weeks. Painting these details took me forever. This is all done freehand. And then obviously the windows as well. I tried to make it look domed. It's very hard to do when you're kind of inside a shelf painting. All this has been done with cardboard, very, very easily done. This took no time at all to the tables and chairs. In fact, that was the easiest thing in the room. The floor um, painted with lots of different layers of black, different types of black to give it a kind of pitted look, to make it look like a castle floor. You'll see that a lot of the edges of rooms look a bit like this. So this part here is like a build-up of years and years and years of castles. If you go into a castle, if it's old enough, you will see that in the edges of the room. It's kind of like a build-up. Castles obviously weren't heavily cleaned, I don't think, and maybe it's where, when they were building the castles, lots of kind of the, the mortar fell to the ground and it's just kind of built up over time. But this is literally just polyfiller. All of this is polyfiller. Um, and then it's kind of been patted down with like a, a piece of plastic to give it that castle edge and then I have um, used sponges and brushes to create that look. The only regret I have with this shelf is that I stopped the polyfiller there not knowing what I was going to do. So you've got obviously this pitted look here and then you moved too much of a smooth look there so I really do need to kind of get in there again and do it a bit more but it's finding the time to do it. 
All of these potions have been made by me. Um, so easily done. I literally printed off a load of labels from Google. These are bought on eBay and these are just filled with like herbs and little twigs, uh, bits of grass and so on. I think there's even some of my hair in some of these. It sounds really weird, but it worked. And then you've got, you've got tiny little bottles. Look at how cute those tiny little bottles are. They're so, so adorable. They're so dinky. A lot of these things on the tables, they're from Star Race figures. And then you've got things like this. This is from Geek Gear. Uh, these are from those little kind of mystery boxes where you don't know what you've got in them with different characters. So I'm not too keen on it, but for some reason they're still there. This, however, this beautiful monster book of monsters is just the most tiniest little replica and is so, so, so dinky. Look at that. And it's made by Steve Putnam Design, as you can see on the back there. He is on Instagram, so make sure that you check him out. But he's just adorable, isn't he? So next is my wands. I think you've seen these wands so many times, so I'm going to go through through them very, very quickly. Um, to the right of this is all like evil people in Harry Potter. I have only got a few. I need to get more. And then to the left is all characters from Fantastic Beasts. So it kind of, this should be Fantastic Beasts and Harry Potter because actually this is Grindelwald's but it was the one that he had apparently in Harry Potter. So what is my favourite one here? I think my favourite ones, wands, is the Death Eater mask with the basilisk which is one of the recent ones released by Warner Brothers which wants to fall over. And then I have, I think this one is another one of my favourites from Grindelwald. And then, and then we have, I think, Lita Lestrange's, which is my newest wand, which was sent to me by Very, uh, by Very, by Very Nico. So thank you very much, Very Nico. Then we have um, Nicolas Flamel's, which I do use a lot in my videos, as you guys know. And then Queenie, I think, because she's one of my favourite characters in Fantastic Beasts, but I think she's one of everyone's favourites, aren't they? So they are my Fantastic Beasts and my evil ones from Harry Potter. So then we have books. I, I've changed these so many times because I have so many books. So this is a Daily Profit newspaper that I was sent from The Forgotten Corner who did some amazing Daily Profit newspapers just for me and my um, Patreons. And it's got me on the front. I could open it, but there is plenty of photographs on my Instagram of it open. I don't want to open it, so check out the photos. Now, there's quite a few books on here we've got a kind of like um there isn't really a set thing with these i don't think i don't feel like there's a set thing with these so these covers are from akio a couple of years ago there should be seven but i only have six unfortunately i couldn't get the seventh one and then the other book cover is actually on my prophecy shelf so you'll see that soon you have obviously the ravenclaw covers which are beautiful for some bizarre reason that is the newest one and it actually looks really filthy i hadn't noticed that till now uh, that is ready for the last one from the wizard in trunks i'm looking forward to that and then we have a few different books here some of them are worth quite a lot of money some of them are not we will go into that another time and down here roxy do you mind uh, we have notebooks and different types of books um, and a, a Lego castle which we can't find anywhere to put. There's lots of kind of different notebooks here and then obviously we have my 
do you mind we have my autobiography a Girl wizard which is available on amazon we have the gorgeous uh, Mina Lima and Philosopher's Stone book, illustrated book. I can't wait for the next one to come out in October. I'm so excited. And then we have a load of other like little books as well, kind of location books and so on ready when I finally can do my series when lockdown is finished. Um, we've got a couple more notebooks and we have some Hogwarts notebooks there which are from Mina Lima. This is the shelf that's changed the most and I blame Emma from the locked vault 100% because she keeps sending me boxes and I love them so much but I have to display the new ones I get because I love them so much. So this has changed loads. Um, this is obviously the latest box from the locked vault which is Diagon Alley and I love the pattern of the, the print on the top. Again if you want to see that video check out the link above because the box is outstanding. This is on top of it because I keep forgetting to put it away. This is the Beadle Labard book that was released by Amazon. 2007 to 2008. That's crazy. This is like 13 years old, this book. So this is worth including the box and the books it comes with with the prints between three and 500 pounds. So it's a beautiful book to keep, but I do need to put it away properly. I don't remember where this Triwizard Candle's from, I think. It's the Wizarding Truck, but I can't be 100% sure. I've never used it, but look how sparkly that is inside. Sparkle, sparkle. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Just look at that. That is lush, and it smells. Like a candle? Wouldn't be surprised. It smells really like um, like blackberries and blueberries and oh, it's just lush. But I'm too, I love it too much to burn. Yeah, I love it too much to burn. So that is not going to be burnt. That's just for display for now until I decide I want to burn it. So we've got five of the six uh, Mina Lima notebooks here. Um, the other one is on display. So we've got potions making. We've got Hogwarts a history. We've got the Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. We've got A History of Magic by Bethilda Bagshot, and we've got Tales of Beadle Labard, which is literally a lot book there. Dun, 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 dun. So those are kept safely on my shelves. There is a sixth one, which you will see soon. And then another beautiful box by The Locked Vault. Um, this is the Triwizard box. This is full of pin badges and so on. Just absolutely chock-a-block with things in there because I don't have room for everything. And then I love this. This is the latest Pygmy Puff from Platform 9 and 3 quarters. I love it. It's so soft.
So then we move up to one of my favourite shelves, which is the pin shelf. Um, I love this shelf. It changes all the time. It is just, I'm sorry to be kind of, you know, quite blowing my own trumpet here, but it's a genius idea by me. Um, yay! I don't have many of them, so when I do, I get really excited. But this is only half of my pins. Um, these are my favourite pins that I like to display. So we've got all sorts of pins on here from Loot Crate to the Wizarding Trunk to Platform 9 and 3 quarters to the Wizarding World to uh, the Wizarding World in Florida. Oh my god, a geek gear. We've got so many on here, but my favourite pin is not on the shelf and you will see it in a bit. But this is just so beautiful. I love this. And underneath is a secret compartment full of more pins more wands and key rings but there's only a couple of things that are in here really there is oh and there's a Hermione bag as well we've got a power bank we've got Lego we've got cutlery under here we have a light we have um lit joy uh banner with pins we've got the latest literary burrow because i don't know where to put it yet oh uh, we've got pins from uh mist and magic we've got so much under here so i'm going to close that back up again and uh yeah what's my favorite pin on here it's got to be my pins isn't it i mean you've got my pin which is there my vic my always pin which is beautiful then we have my you're a wizard pin up there which again was by me and we have the you won't need any ink which is another pin created by me i think the most valuable pin that's, on that, that that's my favorite that is beautiful isn't it that one by g g u g u i studios i think it is my favorite pin on here two and a half million years later exactly this i think was one of my favorites this is the obviously the prophecy, the Harry Potter prophecy. Um, I love it, but I don't know. I can't remember where it's from. I know they're still available. That's one of my favourites, and it glows in the dark. And then, and then we have a Dolores Umbridge pin there, which is a copy of the original. Um, the original goes for between two and three hundred pound, which is just stupid for a pin badge. Um, I think that's crazy. This one goes for a silly amount of money at the moment. That was one of the first pins released by Wizarding World. Um, it, it sold out in no time at all, so it's really pretty. It's the Halloween celebration from last year. That one as well, this uh, sorting hat pin was the first one released by the Wizarding World Gold and goes for about £150, I think. I have pin cover uh, cupboards which are behind my dad's chair. So I really do need to kind of go through my pins and just like look at how I want to display them because there's some on here that I don't want to display really but I get them and then I just think oh go on then I haven't seen one like that for a while I'll put it on.
So I think this has got to be one of my favourite shells. Um, and I asked, I said to you earlier that um, my favourite pin badge wasn't on this shelf. It's because it's right here. This was from the Wizarding Trunk. And it is the You're Invited Your Ball Invitation. And it is just the most beautiful pin I have ever seen in my life. In fact, when I did see it, I cried, which is so stupid because it's a pin badge, but I cried. Um, what is it with Harry Potter fans and pin badges? It's so bizarre, but I love it so much. So it is displayed on my Your Ball shelf. Now, I actually loved painting this shelf. This was one of my favourites because I do love painting. I'm just not brilliant at it. It sounds really stupid because I painted my shelves, but I'm not brilliant at it. So I kind of guessed a lot of it. Um, this shelf actually went all the way down, but I realised I needed the bottom shelf for something else. So I changed it and had it halfway up. But you've got things like icicles and stuff hanging. You've got snow coming down from the ceiling. You've got the, the great hall window at the back. Um, and you've got obviously these beautiful, genuine Swarovski crystals hanging from the ceiling as well. These are beautiful. This one was a celebration of Mariah Carey getting another record for, uh, for what is it, All I Want for Christmas. We've got the newest edition for the Goblet of Fire, which is the Royal Selangor Limited Edition, a Goblet of Fire there, which was released last year, I think. Then we have potion bottles from like um, Incan Street's Apothecary. I think that might have been the Wizarding Trunk. I'm not 100% sure. This one was sent to me by a, an incredible follower of mine. Um, perfect as well because it's all glittery and sparkly and a blue. Then we have the Yule Ball invitation that was from Geek Gear uh, last year, possibly, or was it the year before? The year before, I think. I'm not 100% sure. The Golden Egg from Noble Collection just there. These Yule Ball bottles are from Geek Gear, which sold out a long time ago, I'm afraid to say. We have a Lit Joy Always Memory Vial there. Maybe it's not suited for this shelf, but you know, it's beautiful, so I really don't care. Then we have the Your Ball Glass Etched Plate from Loot Crate, which was released last Christmas. These are all like little blue, little blue, little kind of plastic perspex crystals, pieces of ice chunks that I bought for my own Your Ball that I did a few years back. So I've put them on this as a decoration. We've got the uh, bow bat and key from I think the wizarding trunk. I'm not sure, but I really love that. The only thing I don't like is that there's nothing for you to attach. Um, it's just like a little key, which I love, but I would like to have attached it to something. These on here are also from the Warner Brothers Studios. They did, when they did the Your Ball back in 2017, they had these to give to people um, during their visit and you could get them scrunched up and you search for them in these boxes um, or you could ask and they would be given to you for free sneakily, but they would go and get them for you. And I was very lucky because these go for quite a lot of money now but I actually lost them for three years and found them in one of the Mina Lima uh, books. So thank God. But there we are. I found them again. We've got a Yule Ball decoration here on the side as well, which is from the Hermione Artifacts box by Noble Collection. Um, I had to put that on there, even though I've just noticed it's wonky. <laughs> it's coming downwards. So this is one of my favourite shelves and my Swarovski crystal ne uh, necklace um, decoration from Monica as well. Up here you have Tina and Queenie Goldstein's bedroom, which looks different to when it was seen in August. Only a little bit really, oh actually no, quite a lot I think. Uh, we've now got a new Scamander with his trunk, in the flock, and Picket, which is so cute. I love the Picket and I love looking at the flies, oh, look at him, he's so adorable. 
and his trunk. These again were very kindly sent to me by Star Ace, so thank you very much, Star Ace. And we also have, which looks so real, we have uh, Gallic Grindelwald's there. Adam has a, a weird kind of gift on being able to position them like they're real and it looks like his coat is billowing and he's ready to attack i don't know but it just looks so good background um, and batteries not included what'd you say background and batteries not included <laughs> <laughs> okay that's good uh so we've got baby nifflers for some reason is facing the other way so we've got baby nifflers and i do like this thing here this was Gre gallic grindelwald's little pet in prison but he he kills him in the end he kind of throws him out of the the horse and cart thingy and he's just really cute and he loves Gallic Grindelwald and he's just so evil. We've got things like I put two Mira Vera sets in here just because they're there and I've realised there's fingerprints all over that one so I should have really cleaned it first. Uh, we've got the emergency clock which doesn't blummin work. This is from Pottery Barn and I bought it second hand on eBay and it doesn't work unless you lift it up and like hit it. No, hang on. No, it's not working. It stopped working completely. Uh, that gold bit in the middle actually goes around and it's really cool when it works, but it doesn't work. So then we have the little trunk here with the Niffler and the Demi guys, and from Geek Gear, the Zoo toy, which I literally jumped across the room when I saw it and got very, very excited and Geek Gear thought I was hilarious, but I was very proud. And then we have this beautiful Weasley clock, which at the moment is going for stupid money, on eBay, but they have restocked them. So don't be silly, go to Litjoy and buy it from there. You know, it's available. So go there and buy it. We have a little trunk that was sent to me by Sean from Valentine's Miniatures. I haven't got anything in it yet, but I will find something to go in it. Little kind of, I don't know, hairbrushes and stuff or spell books or whatever, I don't know, we'll see. And then we go into the suitcase and down. So I haven't really done much new to this shelf particularly, apart from the pixie that came in the Geek Gear box last week, which is so good, I love it. Oh, and maybe the Thestral, I, can't, I think that was Geek Gear as well, I quite like the Thestral. What's meant to be here, because this is a big giant moon, and some hills and stuff and it's dark and you've got reflections coming off the trees and things. There's meant to be a moon calf there. Lit Joy, Kelly and Alex did say that they've tried and do me a moon calf for their Fantastic Beast box. But I don't know if they're actually going to go through with that. But that would be so cool if Lit Joy did that. So thank you very much Kelly and Alex. I love you guys. And then we've got things like we've got um, Frank the Thunderbird who is in Monument Valley in his section. And then we have the um, Whooper in his section on a tree that I actually cut up and stuck back together using amazing glue and moss. Oompa, so he's pretty cool. Oompa. He's not a foompa, he's a hooper. Oompa, hoopa. <laughs> then this is very popular this is. This is my Ockamy nest. 
I bought this glass bowl, it had a, like, an, like a fake plant inside it from B&M for about £5. I managed to get the fake plant out of it by melting the glue and then I used glue and string with like these little leaves in and I literally glued it around the entire dome and then put my little Occamy inside. Then we have a water feature down here which is actually not a water feature at all, it's just glue. Um, which has gone shiny and there's water around the edges here to make it look like something's dripping So we've got something like it looks like a drips coming down there And you've got shiny bits around the edges and you've got little bushes coming kind of growing where the water is and then we have Bigot who is a little bit big Obviously for what it's meant to be inside his suitcase, but he's still cute. So he stays there This shelf isn't actually seen on camera at all. Um, this is my Philosopher's Stone tasks uh, from the first film. So you've got the trapdoor where Harry, Ron and Hermione fall through onto the Devil's Snare, which is here. Yes, it's the wrong colour as Daniel likes to point out. Underneath all of this, if you can see there, we have a dark piece. This is actually a coiled piece of the real devil snare from the film. But because it doesn't look devil snare-ish, because of the fact that it's only a piece of like a coiled foam piece, I've covered it in this as well. And it's also to kind of protect it, um, because this is, uh, it is so delicate underneath. But yeah, I'm very, very proud to have an actual piece of devil snare underneath. So then we have flush flush flesh eaten slug repellent from was that the wizarding trunk i think it's very dusty so please don't pay too much attention uh it's very hard to dust up here because it's so high up don't sneeze don't sneeze and we have the flying keys which is obviously one of the tasks i don't know why that bottle's there in fact it shouldn't really be there because that wasn't in the tasks uh, but we have flying keys there then we have the arctic ice which is from incantrix apothecary which is actually from the story from the Harry Potter books where Hermione has to choose a potion to make the fire reduce so they can go through it, I think. I'm pretty sure that is what they have to do um, because I haven't read the books for so long, I can't remember. Then we have this gorgeous chess piece here from Geekia. I love this. I wish they'd have brought out a black version so I could have had a black and a white piece. And then... We have my newest addition to this shelf, which is the Philosopher's Stone by Noble Collection, but it is the glass dome and the stand that is the most amazing part because these are from Spellbook and Broom on um, Instagram. Uh, they very kindly sent me these. If you want to see some very good pictures of those, please check out my Instagram. And also check out theirs too, because they're awesome. And then we have a mirror from the Mirror of Eris, a Mirror of Eris said there, which is from Primark, which was actually a fantastic replica from that shop. So we have the last lot of sections from my shelves. Um, Daniel's uh, enjoying the position of my double chin uh, in the video. Um, for some reason we have a Godric Gryffindor sword poking through there which has fallen over. It's to stop any robbers from stealing stuff. From like backwards from like in there yeah okay. So we have the normal Harry Potter books from when I first fell in love with Harry Potter. This as people know is actually the first um, item I ever bought. This was back in 2001 when I was pregnant with Daniel and bless him now he's my cameraman. So, <laughs> and taller than you. And way taller than me. Oh no, not unless I'm using the stool. I can go on my tippy toes. Okay. Uh, so yeah, so as you can see, this book is well loved because it's it's kind of 
you know the colors were coming off it and everything a new one of these is worth about 500 pound well if you can get it in pristine condition so i think this is probably worth about i don't know 10 <laughs> although because it's mine apparently it's worth more but i don't know so on this shelf apart from having this book here the welsh first edition because obviously i'm a welsh proud welsh and proud girl um and i have what i love is the auction book of the Tales of Beadle Bard, the one I showed you earlier. This is the auction book of the book that was uh, sold to raise money for charity. I think it went for 1.2 or 1.4 million and it was bought by Amazon, which is why obviously they did 50,000 copies of the book. And then as you go up, we've got a few other covers, um, including the ones, the newest ones by The Wizarding Trunk who have done these here. I have got more covers to put up, but they're at the moment they're away because I'm waiting to get the um, American hardbacks just so I can put them on. These, I don't can't remember where these came from. I, sorry, I can't remember when these were released, but these were a wedding present from Adam. Um, they did come boxed, but once I took them out of the box to take photographs of them, uh, I couldn't put them back in the box because it was so blooming tight. So they are there and the box is upstairs in the attic. But I love those, they're beautiful. This is the second one shelf. Um, this is all the good guys from Harry Potter and a couple of extras as well. So these are some of my favourites. My favourite one out of all of these, I've got two actually. I've got, I know I've got three, tell a lie. I have three. I lied, I have three. So this is my latest one of my favourites. This is the Golden Snitch Wand that was released by the American New York online shop, the Harry Potter one, the new one. But you can't get them anymore, they're not available. I don't know if they're gonna become available, I have no idea, but they have literally completely gone. And they very, very rarely now show up on eBay. So if you can find one, I think I paid $70 for this, which I think was a very good price. So I think they're probably worth between 70 and 150 maybe. Um, so just be very careful, make sure that when you do buy it, it's brand new in box. So I do love that wand. And then my next favourite is the one that's released with a series of wands from the Warner Brothers Studio. This is obviously the Ravenclaw Diadem version, me being a proud Ravenclaw, this had to be in my collection. It is absolutely outstanding, I love it so much, I don't use it as often as I should but I think I need to start using it more. I'd prefer it if these were Swarovski Crystal because I am a big Swarovski Crystal fan, but they are plastic. However, they do still look good. And then my next favorite wand is this one. This is Fleur Delacour's, as you know, I'm a big Beau Batten fan. Um, I love dressing up in her, in, in the costume, um, wearing my hair extensions and everything, I love it. And next time I go to the studios, I think I will probably be doing that again because, you know, I'm proud so and my hair's getting longer and it's getting more blonde so yay 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 but this is one of my favorite ones I love it and then I have to say my next favorite is this one from my fantastic friend in Miami Raul who I love so much he just I, I said I would love to have it if somebody could get hold of it and he got it for me because he goes to the the uh, want of the wizarding world a lot and picked it up and sent it to me. So Raoul, I am eternally grateful, thank you. This is a celebration wand, a 2020 celebration wand by the Wizarding World in Florida. They do them every year and I think they started in, I wanna say 16, 2016, but I got a funny feeling it was 2018. Um, somebody correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, yeah, I love this one.
I didn't want to do the um, the shelf tour until I'd finished playing with my Gringotts shelf because I have so much stuff that I wanted to do things differently and it still looks crazy. What haven't I got in the shelf? I mean, my Niffler for starters, he keeps pinching everything of mine. That's my Stife Niffler. But he's just so beautiful, but you cannot get them anymore, which is just such a pain. But I love him. He's so cute. He's called Norman the Niffler. He will be replaced soon with my uh, Muckle Mannequins Niffler because Muckle Mannequins are sending me a Niffler and a Dobby um, to promote, which is like ridiculous. So thank you so much. Can't wait to get hold of those. Um, but he will be replaced and he will be put away safely because... The one thing that is not good about these LED lights on these shelves, any LED lights, is they actually do bleach your items. So don't have them on all the time. I used to have these on all the time when I first did them. And uh, I have a book, a cursed child book, which is, you can get them anywhere. And there's a blooming great hole of white on the cover because it was underneath one of the lights, it just bleached it. So it's not good, don't leave them on all the time. So with Norman the Niffler will be upstairs in the attic soon. So this is full of everything. You've got things like the groundkeeper's key from the wizarding trunk, which is the latest box. You have an actual prop replica from Gringotts in the Warner Brothers studio, which Monica gave me. Every single employee was given one and this was given to me by them, so I love it. I've got normal money on here, so I've got things like a five pound coin that I found in my mum's possessions. I love this, I said that I love my Swarovski crystals. This is a Harry Potter coin um, with three Swarovski crystals in. As you can see there, blue, white and red. And uh, I'm not sure how much this is, I think it's like a two pound coin or something but it does have value with it. Oh, it's a crown. Oh, I don't know how much that is then. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Never really paid attention. I just like it because it's shiny. Shiny. Got all sorts of crystals. These are all real Swarovski crystals here. Um, again, Swarovski crystals. This is a paperweight from Buckingham Palace, but uh, I mean, what Niffler wouldn't want that? Come on now, you know, let's face it. He Do you know what? Love it. You are a Niffler. I am a Niffler. I, this brings out my inner Niffler a big time. I mean, it's the same thing. You've got pale, or I guess, and then black. <laughs> pale, and then black. <laughs> it's the exact same outfit. Very true. He you got, have a pouch? He hasn't, got, he hasn't got a logo on the front you of You have a jump. pouch? I have got a he pouch. He has a pouch. I should be stuffing all of this in my pouch. Yeah, you are the embodiment of Niff. I am. These coins uh, were my trickiest thing to do with this shelf recently because they have been stacked using tacky wax but they do not stick a uh, stick stack properly. They actually kind of fall. So I've had to use tacky wax to make sure that they do stay there. So I've got three of the silver, three, oh, three of the bronze, I burnt my fingers then. I've got three of the bronze there. No fingers were harmed in this creation. Yeah, that's it, exactly. Three of the bronze and then three of the gold. Um, and then I've got my, look at my little, my little death eat, my death eater there, my, um, mechanical death eater there from Japan. How cute is that? That is just adorable. So I have got so much on the shelf. This is one of my favorite shelves of all time. It's my, it's, fa it's my second favorite. Is it? It's not all Harry Potter though. That might be shocking to some people, but it's not. I have Lord Really? I can't tell. <laughs> I have Lord of the Rings as well on here. So that's uh, one spoon to rule them all because I do love Lord of the Rings as well. This was one of the latest items to be put in the shelf. This is the Slytherin Locket from Geek Gear that was released in the March box. It's beautiful, I love it. You've got this candle carousel from Lit Joy as well. It's not brilliant with one tea candle, it has to use with a couple of tea candles or a bigger candle, but it's just so beautiful. And what makes it so sparkly is I have it underneath my LED light, directly underneath my LED light, so obviously this shines onto this and it moves with it. So it sparkles all over the place, I love it. Me and Moth Sparkle, I love Moth Sparkle. One thing about the shelves, um, this was one of the fiddliest ones to do, not only obviously because of the fact that there was so much on it, but because 
the if you go into Gringotts in the Warner Brothers studio and you go to the vault, the Lestrange vault, you will see that the, the vault looks like it's covered in scratches um, because my friend took pictures while they worked there. Uh, so they took pictures, close-up pictures of all the scratches for me and I wanted to do something similar. So this isn't obviously just Gringotts, it's obviously a Niffler home as well. So I've done the scratches on the walls using polyfiller. So I covered the shelf in polyfiller. This took about two weeks to do and it was a hell of a mess. So you've got scratches all over this. You can see plenty of scratches without anything in them on the actual, the back of the shelves there. But then once the polyfiller dried, which took a, a, over a day, I then got silver, real silver and artificial gold leaf. And I literally did every single scratch with either gold or silver individually. It took me two weeks to do the entire shelf with gold and silver scratches. So not only have we got the art, uh, the art, uh, the kind of like the, the real look of the Lestrange vault with the scratches, We've also got the gold and silver that may have been created by a Niffler. So he could have created those scratches. But I love it. I absolutely love the shelf. This is one of my absolute favourites. Probably because it's so sparkly. But because I put so much effort into this, I was covered in gold and silver for days because it went everywhere. The next shelf is my um, Hall of Prophecies. Um, I've got a thing about the prophecies, whether it's because they glow blue, I don't know, but I love anything to do with the prophecies. It's such an amazing room when you watch the films. In fact, you know, when you watch the films, none of those shelves existed, they weren't real, they, it was all CGI, which is just bizarre. I mean, how did those kids do it? I really don't know. So I've got quite a few globes, so I wanted to kind of, create a hall of prophecies on one of my shelves so on here i have got obviously some globes some uh, some crystal balls so i've got crystal ball that was it's a noble collection crystal ball from um professor chelawney's classroom with the obviously the elephants there <laughs> then at the back i have the hogwarts castle surround with the globe on the top and it has the castles with the castle sorry the death eaters going around it the pewter death eaters they sold out for a while i actually thought they weren't going to be available anymore i thought they were going to be discontinued but they are still available it's the ring of dementors <laughs> it's the ring of dementors yeah then we have the actual prophecy from noble collection which seems to have like a, a way of a glowing all by itself it's so bizarre how it glows whether it's the frosted look on it i don't know then we have the little little dinky Prophecy orb from Geek Gear. Look at it. It's so cute. It's so tiny. Look at Then we've got from my friend, a cooking and craft chick. She sent me a gorgeous prophecy orb back there, but uh, the battery's going on it, so I need to replace the battery. Then we've got the Eye of Time, which I love, which is this, this one here. Uh, this was the first one I received. This is actually quite a new version of the Eye of Time. But then this one, which is an Eye of Time, is the one that I had from my dad. Um, this is actually an antique. So it is beautiful. And I, I was given it by my brother when my dad passed away. So I love this one. We have a beautiful Expecto Patronum uh, lamp from, bought from Borgen and Burks, no, uh, from Bradford Exchange that they kindly sent me for free to promote on my channel, which I did a couple of weeks ago, along with the other items they sent me. So keep an eye out for those videos because they've got more coming. This is obviously the cover that I was on about from the Accio box, the Crystal Clear Prophecies for the Amateur Oracle. So this is a book cover created for Accio which I had to put on this shelf. This was sent to me by Fan Corner Creations. Um, I think it doesn't really, it's not really anything to do with prophecies but I do love this. It's obviously the pen sieve from Dumbledore's office. 
and then one of my lovely patreons sent me a gorgeous amount of items including this handmade prophecy orb which i love so much now the back of the shelf took forever i think this took the longest in my eyes because each orb was painted individually um, and I wanted to change the shelf because you couldn't see the painting at the back so obviously I took the box away that had all these orbs in and I wanted just to be able to see these orbs I'd created but it took me so long I think I had a two week break in between because it just took forever to finish them but I got there in the end and it looks amazing. She's not liked by many people. I'm well aware of this, but I really, I have a kind of like a love-hate relationship with this character. We're talking about Dolores Umbridge. Ba -da 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 -da. I, I don't know what it is about her. She's evil. I think it's because Imelda Staunton did such an incredible job playing her character. You hated the character, but loved the actress. So I think that's one of the reasons why I loved her so much because in the books I wasn't fussed, I really didn't like her in the books, but I watched the films and she was just amazing, absolutely amazing. So this shelf is dedicated to her. Um, as you can see I have the uh, pop vinyl of Umbridge here. I love it, it's so good, she's just, she's so pink. Um, and I also love that in the films with Imelda Staunton, with Dolores Umbridge, she came to Hogwarts in obviously very pink items, but the more evil she became, the fluffier and pinker her costumes became. And she looked innocent, but if you actually look closely at her costumes, like some of the buttons are made of skulls, you know, she had those hints of evil just looking at her, but you couldn't tell. Um, until you realise what she was doing as a student, which is awful. So we've got things like, we've got a letter here for Cornelius Fudge from um, Dolores to him. Uh, we've got a bookmark there of from the wizarding trunk. I will have order. Uh, we've got her quill, her evil quill, that is still available in the UK Noble Collection, but I know it is sold out on the American website. So I'm really sorry about that. Then we have the four plates going up. We've got a little kind of magnet there. I think that was from Geek Gear, but it could have been the Wizarding Trunk. We've got the four plates going up, which is the set that was available from Loot Crate. They are officially licensed by Warner Brothers. And then on the far left, we have the pl latest plate that was available from Geek Gear. That isn't officially licensed, but it's still wicked. We've got her wand and display just here, which I've moved. And because did you know that the rug in her office was one of the most expensive props created? It's something like 26,000 to have the rug made. Um, this is just a pink doily that somebody um, knitted, basically. So I've had that doily put on the shelf. Then we've got the other Mina Lima book, the sixth notebook that I said because there was a pack of six. Uh, this is the defense, sorry, the dark arts defense basic for beginners. Then this key ring here is from the Warner Brothers Studio. It was really expensive, but it's because it's a limited edition key ring. So that will only be available for a short period of time. And then here we have, I think from the Wizarding Trunk as well, was a Dolores Umbridge candle, which I've never burnt. So there we are, that is all my shelves. So let me know what you thought of my shelves. Which shelf was your favorite? I would love to hear. So until next time, take care. I love you all and I will speak to you very soon. Mischief managed. my content take a look at this video right here or this video right here don't forget to like and subscribe